Hi Design Thinkers, my name is Matthew Sear and today we are going to be getting into Figma and we're going to be learning how we're going to manage our copy. Have you ever had when a stakeholder or a client turn around and said, hey, could we update this header? Could we update this paragraph? And you need to go through hundreds and hundreds of screens and components updating the header and paragraph so that it reflects the changes that they're wanting to make. There is a quick and easy way to manage this inside of Figma using Figma variables and using our collections. So if you'd like to learn a little bit more about how to do this, then you're in the right place. Sit back, relax, and let's jump into the video. Just before we jump into the video, I wanted to say, if you're enjoying the content so far and you haven't subscribed, then let's make a deal. I can make a lot more content. I can keep making better things, but I can only do that with the feedback of the community. Are you liking, subscribing, commenting in the description, letting me know what you like, what you don't like, letting me know what you're looking for and how I can help you, the design community, keep growing, building and creating fun things. If you let me know, I can continue to build and create better videos that are more tailored towards what you guys are looking for. So please jump on board, subscribe and let's create together. All right, here we are inside of Figma. So, how do we quickly update something like this with Figma variables? Let's say we get our request, please update sales information. Click, go to variables. We go over here, paste in that new one. And there we go. All of our screens, all getting that update. Nice and easy. So how do we get started creating our own collection and using Figma variables and updating our elements on our page? Let's start breaking down a couple of options that we can do. All right, so let's go for option A. We could create ourselves a complete page. This complete page would be a complete component and we could duplicate it and with that page, we could end up using that again and again. But what happens if we want to change it? If we go over to our flow, let's say we got our screen here. If I wanted to edit, change, or add something here, I wouldn't be able to do that. I would have to either create switches or additional components and add it in here to allow for that. Maybe I don't want to do that. Okay, what's our other option? So option two or B, we could do it for the header component. So what does that look like? We do it for our header component. We could do one of these. This is actually good. We could have our own little header component and we could create it. We could go over here, add a variable and we could create a few different variations of this. And I guess before Figma variables existed, I used to do this. I used to be able to go, okay, we'll change this one. It's going to be report, etc., And I would manage the top section. But what happens if I didn't want sometimes to show this, or I want to have different things here and there. I want to change this top strip. Well, with this way, I can't really change this top strip and change the elements inside of it i have to keep it in one and then i'll have to every time i change let's say this i would have to change it throughout the entire top header strip and now with figma variables we can actually break it down even further making it a lot easier on ourselves so let's make it easy on ourselves and let's create just a little text block which is going to go inside of our component. And now a couple of sneaky peeks behind the scenes. I also have inside of here, my own collection of individual text blocks. 
in a following tutorial I'll go through how to create these but what they are is a collection of text elements with different styling different pieces you don't need to do this but it definitely helps out why would we want to take it down to something like a micro level of text elements that can be changed and updated and adjusted it all goes back to how can we change the smallest thing on our design and then propagate that up the chain what i've got here is i've got a single header text block i have a single descriptive text block and what i can do even if you just use just plain text we can combine them together let's just put i just shift a and i did shift a again so now let's say this is going to be my header block Oops. take that off all right and now inside of here i can add in let's say for gap that would be nice and I got my header text, I got my that text. I already combined a couple of things, so I'm just going to detach that. There we go. Now, here we, we got, we got our block. Our block is done. We can turn this into a component. And the fun couple of things that why would we do elements like that, what I can do is start to actually use this to apply different Figma variables to it. By layering Figma variables, we can control for our components. And we can control the components just on this small element and propagate it, propagate it up the chain. Here we are. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna first show you, let's click on text. And I'm just gonna click this little apply variable icon. And now what I can do is I can go to my collection and I can apply that variable. Now, I already have a collection, so let's create a new one so you can know what you're setting up. I will go up to my local collections. And what I'm going to do is, I have this collection here. I actually got a couple of collections. I'm just going to get rid of them. There we go. And I'll give you a sneak peek in this one a little bit later. We are going to create a new collection. This will be our copy for our portal. Because this is a portal design. We are going to create, we have a header strip. So we're going to go create and we're going to use string. And we have a header. And we then also duplicate have our description. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select both of these two. I'm going to go right click and I'm going to go new group. This will be my header bar, which is the header top bar for me. And by grouping them, I can say that this is the header bar. It's got a header in the description. So if I have other areas in my application, I can start to list them out by their primary section or component. Great thing is right here, I can actually start setting up the actual name. So I can say, okay, this is sale, sales and view sales information. And what I can do is I could do two things. I can either list them out as separate sets going down by group or I could list them out with modes. Doing it with modes means that I can take the same page and I can switch out the text with modes. Doing it by group means I still need to apply that to that actual component. I'll show you the two differences. So let's start with the group. We're going to duplicate our group. And let's say this group will be my report. And this will be my sale. This gives you a lot more pages, but it is a little more manual. I have now set up my reports. I will call this reports. 
and I'll say view my view. So you get a few weekly reports. There we go. And what I'm going to do is I can come up to my component up here and I can click on the text and I can apply this new copy for my portal. I can apply that header and I can click on the text down here and I can apply my descriptor. So I've added that right there, which is fantastic. And let's say I take this component over here. I'm going to add that block into here where that's going in there. And it does appear I already got it in there, so that's nice. But we'll have a look. I'll fill. And I'm going to also fill. And I will also tell this component to bring it in. Okay. So now I have this main header. And I actually pop have it actually populated inside. But just to double check, make sure we definitely have it that one. I'll press paste. There we go. Build the container. Fantastic. Done. And I'm just going to check that in there and I'll remove that one. But here's my dashboard. Now this one, as I said, this is fantastic if you are building the pages and you got lots of different views, different ports, etc. Because you only got four modes. So you only have four modes to work with if you wanted to use the mode version. So if you don't use the mode version, you can do this and you can put many. But the one change you have to do is let's say I need to do the report. So I'll duplicate this across. I have to come into here and I just need to reassign those text variables. I just need to turn around and say, okay, you're, you're going to be the report one and you will also access the report. So that's the difference. Grouping means that you're gonna to have to be specific by creating the initial change. But the modes one, is a lot more fun. So that one, done. Let's set up some modes instead. What I'm going to do is, I actually am going to just duplicate, create another mode right there. I'm just going to view all of my variables. And instead of just having two sets, I'm just going to go modes. So grab, let's grab that. Let's chuck it up there. Let's grab that one. Chuck the one up there. I'm just going to get rid of this and instead of going sales it's just the header and now what I have is I've got my sales page not a mode now it's a page and I got my report page bam so what this means is you can now Click over here as you have your whole page selected and you can say, I want you to use the reports. And I can go over here. I can say, I want you to use the sales. And what takes place is that these, first of all, I'll make sure I tie it to the right one, but you only need to do it once basically. So if I wanted to, for example, I want to change this one, I could easily just go, okay, sales page, report page. And by doing it this way, I could, for example, let's say have different elements on the page. Maybe I have different copy, different text blocks. It's really up to you how you want to do it. So inside the page, I might also have records and inside that pay inside the sales page maybe instead of records it might say analytics like now of course i can't manually update this but let me grab this and let me create maybe a new text string let's duplicate the one we got 
instead let me right click or delete that I'll go to my main group and I will add a new variable text string and I'll just call this the page name and now I can set up analytics for my sales page name I can set up record for my record page name and I can tie the variable once to the page name so as you change the page it will change the copy that's assigned to your page and that's how we can set up like copy controls across lots of pages with using variables throughout Figma and manage it in a way that you can quickly update, adjust, and have a source of truth. I hope this video has been helpful for you. Please subscribe. Let me know what you like, what you don't like. The more feedback and comments and input, the better videos can become. So until next time, design thinkers, keep thinking, keep building, keep creating amazing things, and I will see you all in the next video.